Okay, in the second video on uh, virtual articulation, we're going to really go into some of the details on how this articulator actually functions. Now, basically, what this articulator is what we call an average value articulator. Now, we all have, ha have articulators in our office. Some are semi-adjustable, some are fully adjustable articulators. This is an average value articulator. And it's not a, a new theory at all. It's, uh, it's been around for a long time. And basically, this is going to function on three different things that we need to know about. The first is going to be the importance of the actual articulation itself, the contact points between the teeth. So if we look at these model contacts, these little contact points, uh, we want everything to be in contact correctly with no penetration. Okay, so this is basically going to rely on the accuracy of our buckle bite. If the buckle bite is accurate with these full arch models, then the step one is actually satisfied. The second super important thing is going to be the model axis. This is ultra important and it's probably the single most important part to get right. Now the way that the model axis is set is uh, you, can, you can actually set it between the upper and the lower like we are going to talk about in the model axis videos. But the way the articulation algorithm is written is you need to set this based on the lower jaw. Okay, so you want the two lower incisors to be lined up at the midline. You can't see this quite so good here, but the idea is that this horizontal line on the bottom left photo, you need the central incisors, the, the mandibular central incisors, to be lined up roughly with the distal buccal cusp of the first molar. So the mandibular incisors to the distal buccal cusp of the first molar. You can again kind of see that plane over in this upper left corner. This is actually going to set the occlusal plane. Okay, So there's many different theories on what the occlusal plane, should it be set by the lower, should it be set by the upper, uh, on aesthetics. Um, well, just so you know, the way that this uh, articulator functions, this average value articulator, it's actually going to be set by the lower arch. Okay, So we've established our uh, buckle bite and our teeth contacts, and we actually now have our occlusal plane. The very third thing and the last thing is the actual average value articulated, articulated, pr articulated parameters themselves. So if we go into articulation on the, on the sidebar here, we'll click on articulation parameters. These are the actual parameters that are preset. Now, in my opinion, there's really no reason to actually change these. Okay, they're, they're, there's a reason that they're there. And how this is functioning is, uh, is based on what we call the Bonwill Triangle. So in this, uh, this animation here, you'll see a triangle from the lower central incisors up to what the condyles are at. So these are the condyles, these are the lower central incisors, and this is the Bonwill Triangle. Now this theory of the Bonwell Triangle and average value articulation has been around for 200 years. It's, it's, an, it's an old theory and um, uh, from the, I think the, the late 1800s, but it actually holds true in a lot of different cases. So the first, uh, the, the way this really works is that the Bonwell Triangle and what we call the Bockwell Angle. Now the Bockwell Angle basically measures, we have the triangle here, now how do you judge how high this uh, is off, the, off the, the plane of the occlusion? That's by the Bockwell angle. So you can see in this illustration, this line is going to be uh, symbolize the occlusal plane. And where do we set the occlusal plane? In the model axis. So that's why that's so important. And this is a measured on average to be 23 degrees. So, so based on the research, they, th they say that almost always this is somewhere around 23 degrees. And that's going to judge the height of that Bonwell triangle. Okay, So that's the height of this triangle. So these are the arms. The average value of the arms is 100. The base is going to be the distance between the triangles is based to 100. Balkwell angle we just talked about, sagittal, and the Bennett angle. Okay, so that gives you a brief background on how these, uh, how these are all set and how this average value articulator is working based on the, the articulation itself, the model axis, and the average values of the parameters. Okay, so that's how it works. In further videos, we'll actually go through the clinical case on tooth number 14 and 15 uh, to show you uh, how it actually will function.